a theme, touchstone to recognize a standard by which we're recognized. Okay, we know who we are. There's a stand. We talk about the standard all the time. It's not just the way we perform on Sunday. It's how we go about our life on and off the field. We got to take advantage of every opportunity. Seize everything, man. Carpe Omnia. Great job, NFC East champions. Let's give it up. Bring it in. Hey, great job, fellas. We came here to do what we said we was going to do. Let's keep stacking. Yes, sir. It's time to go get it, y'all. Yes, Come on, one, two, three. One, two, three. Come on! It's time for another edition of the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy here inside the Globe Life studio at the Star in Frisco. It is playoff time. Bill Jones along with Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy. It's the Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers, what is being called Super Wild Card Weekend in the NFL. 3.30 kickoff at AT&T Stadium on Sunday and coach all season long. We start, we talk about September football, November football, December football. There's nothing quite like January football and playoff time, right? Well, this is really the, all the football that matters because this is what you work all year for is to, to be part of this tournament. You know, we've got a great spot in the tournament. Uh, most importantly, we're playing at home. Um, so it keeps us in a really good rhythm. But, yeah, this is an exciting time for a football team. Yeah, coming off a third straight 12-win uh, regular season, nice win last week against Washington, hitting on all cylinders here. What's the big message that you've given to the team this week? Well, I just the biggest thing is, you know, we have a process. You know, we have a flow to everything we do. Is, is just, you know, totally – engage and connect to it and you know keep things as as clean simplify as as much as possible no time to take on anything new obviously there's there's you know more external um potential you know, uh, you know narratives and things that you're gonna have to deal with but just just keep it about how we operate and i think our guys have done a great job with it when, when you see this uh packers team what stands out to you with with green bay well i think the biggest thing is you know you get into the, the early study uh, a lot of new faces you know so i mean we obviously played them last year but uh you know the majority of their young players are now all playing so uh, you have you have some new faces um you know schematically you see the carryover uh, but it's a team that's definitely played their best football at the end of the year Dak Prescott, uh, what a season he has had. And uh, when, you, when you look at uh, leading the league with the touchdown passes, 36, the differential touchdown passes to interceptions, 4-1 to one, and 1.5% 1 uh, interception rate. Uh, that, that is pretty impressive for any quarterback. Yeah, definitely. 1-5 is outstanding. Uh, that will lead the league pretty much every year. So uh, history would support that. Um, but, you know, I, I think Dak's uh, played outstanding this year. I mean, when you look at the whole body of work, um, and and, that, and that's just the beauty of part of where we are, you know, in all three phases is, you know, taking taking our game to the contest Sunday. And uh, and he's definitely done a great job of that um, as far as, you know, teeing us up for that moment. What about uh, the run game coming off the game last week? Is uh, Rico Dowdle and Tony Pollard uh, uh, yards from scrimmage, 186 yards uh, combined. And then you had two guys on, up front on the offensive line filling in for Tyler Smith and Zach Martin and T.J. Bass and Brock Hoffman, who did a really good job, it looked like. Yeah, definitely. I think the combination and the running pass is, is, is healthy. That's where you want to be. And, and, you know, obviously the completions, you know, and getting a new set of downs and then really get, get the attempts to the plate. So just the fact that we're able to just to stay with the run game, uh, that's when we're at our best. When you look at the Packers' defense, what stands out? They've got 45 sacks on the season, very similar to your defense in that regard. Yeah, you can definitely start there. I mean, they're up, they're up front. Is uh, they got excellent depth, they got, you know, excellent players. Uh, it's clearly the strength of the of their defense, maybe even their whole football team. So uh, it starts up front for Green Bay. Uh, C.D. Lamb, uh, what a season uh, for him. Uh, figuring out ways to get him the football, it, 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 it seems like a, because of his versatility and what he can do, it's got to be a fun thing to do each week. What about yeah. when, it apply, when it applies to the playoff game, when the opponent has so much to look at as far as the way you've gotten him the ball? How, what how big of a challenge is that? Well, I mean, that's why we play the game. I mean, that's all, that, that's all part of, you know, the flow of the week, the, you know, the preparation and the, and the planning part of it. Uh, you know, CD is – is a dynamic player. I mean, he plays every position in the perimeter for us. And so the ability to get him the football, you know, he gives us, you know, that versatility that is key. Tyler Smith, uh, for him to be able to be ready to play in the postseason coming off this injury, what, what's the key for him? Oh, I think just the biggest thing is complete is, you know, complete the work this week, get comfortable. Uh, I, th I think we're definitely uh, close to that. Uh, you know, he has a couple more days, you know, from the time that I'm sitting here right now. So, I mean, I, I, I feel good about it. He's, 
he's you know he, he really pushed it uh, to, to get ready for Washington. So. I think he'll be in good shape. All right, we're just getting started on this edition of the Mike McCarthy Show. Up next, it's David Moore of the Dallas Morning News. Goal, Prescott back, throws it in the back of the end zone for Lamb. Is that ball picked off? No, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Touchdown, Touchdown. C.D. Lamb. So that was He was in a crowd, and Lamb was trying to reach the ball across the plane of the goal line, and he did. The Mike McCarthy Show, presented by Reliant, is brought to you by Ford. Ford is the best in Texas. Bank of America, the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. It's Miller time. And by Reliant, official energy provider of the Dallas Cowboys. For Washington, big for both teams. Howell back to throw on third and three. Pressure's coming. Have a seat, son. Back at around the 20. The Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy, continues now here inside the Globe Life Studio. Bill Jones joined by David Moore of the Dallas Morning News, SportsDayDFW.com. Okay, it's been a challenging week for David Moore, not only in the press conferences that you might have heard because the coach isn't participating with his narratives, and also in the locker room, the <laughs> players. It's like, all right, it's coach speak all around. How challenging is it for the media? Bill, I don't understand it. I just want to step back, take a global view of what has and hasn't happened over the last 28 years in Cowboys postseason history. Talk about that related to this season. But for some reason, the coaching staff and the players just want to focus on this game coming up. And uh, you, you always kind of have this push and pull this time of year because, you know, the, the Cowboys have such a rich history and tradition. But that cuts both ways. And now you haven't had that success past the divisional round for a long time. And so that's a natural talking point. But as they will point out, this is the wild card game. Why, you know, why are we talking about this? We just have to, you know, keep our feet where they are now, deal with this. And, you know, Mike McCarthy's gotten it on two fronts this week. Not just that, but also, oh, here's Green Bay, by the way, who you coached for a while. And, and I thought it was very interesting that Mike's approach to that basically this week has been been there, done that, and lost last year. So why am I going to go back into that? And, you know, last year when he went back to Lambeau, uh, was very open talking about what happened there, uh, his emotions, uh, how it ended there, uh, was very accommodating. And his stance was, I found this interesting. He said to start this week, he said, you know, I'm just not going to engage in that this year because I did talk to the team about what I was feeling going back into that game last year, and that was a mistake. Why, why does my personal situation impact anything with this upcoming game? It doesn't. The focus is the game. Yeah, and he, he has regrets uh, doing that uh, yeah. back then. And, and he believes that the team – he used the word selfish, that they did be, need to be selfish in their approach to this game. Yeah, and, and that's everybody. And that is – and when he says being selfish – he understands real life situations intrude, but whereas maybe in week one or two, you work to accommodate those, now it's like, no, <laughs> you know, this is, I've worked all, not just all season, all off season to get to this point. This opportunity is here. We put ourselves in a very good position with the number two seed. Uh, we need to capitalize on this. So. I've been as accommodating as I can, but I've got to be selfish until this run is done. Okay, so maybe the players won't answer this, but how much of an advantage is it to have the home field having won 16 in a row at home? 16 straight have not lost since the opener uh, last year, longest active streak in the league. Uh, that is significant. I would say also against a very young team that hasn't been to the postseason, which is what Green Bay is coming into this game. But Again, asking that question of the players is interesting. They talk about the energy here and all of that, but all of them also quickly go into, yeah, but it's about the preparation. We're preparing the same this week we have every other week. This is what we do at home. This is why we've had success. Why are we making it bigger than what it is? We just continue to stay in this moment, excel in this moment, and then we move on to the next moment. All right, that's David Moore's take on what the players aren't saying in the locker room <laughs> this week. So. 
When we come back here on the Mike McCarthy Show, let's hear what the players aren't saying this week. <laughs> This segment is brought to you by Windstar World Casino and Resort, the casino of the Dallas Cowboys. Waves his arm, snaps his back, looking right, throwing it right. Cooks right side of the end zone, perfect throw, my goodness. Touchdown, Brandon Cooks. Wow, did he ever thread the needle. I mean, I think you continue to just... Uh go about your business the way we, we've been doing it, right? Uh, you know, Coach set such a great schedule, his message all throughout the season. Uh, it shouldn't have to be anything new. Um, obviously, there's going to be a sense of urgency, uh, focus on details, but continue to be who we are uh, and build on the great things that uh, we had all regular season. Um, I don't really compare the, the teams. Obviously, we've had the same success as far as getting to the playoffs and then the same record. But uh, just mentally being focused and the experience is everything. I feel like we have a lot of guys that's also been on the team for quite some time, and we all went through the same you know, scars, and we're not trying to fill out again. Uh, yeah, I mean, just having a, a bunch of the same guys on the team from you know the past postseason um, appearances that we've had and um, – you know, just being able to grow from that and learn from the experiences, the losses, and just carry that with us now. And just it's made us the team that we are right now. Yeah, it goes with the, within the guys around me as well. I mean, the, the players around me, the coaches, the, the system that, that we've, we've created, um, the, the culture that this team has. Uh, it's, not, it's not just about how I feel about myself, but it's, it's about these other guys, the confidence that they give me, I should say. Um, yeah, I don't know if I've had this this much confidence or a greater, greater feel than I have with this offense, with this team, um, with our approach and, and how we're going to go and take care of things. You know, it starts with us up front. We got to be dominant up front, get a lot of bend back, uh, get a lot of movement. Um, I feel like we can do it. We're capable. We showed it already. Mm -hmm. We just got to continue to do it Sunday. This is our third postseason together with a lot of the guys in this, in this locker room. You know, you, you, you're around somebody that long, you know, grinding, running, sweating, all the things that goes into becoming a, a good football team throughout the year. You just you just grow a bond and you know the guy you lining up next to is he just become that much more important to you to go out there and and, and, and be that guy for him. So that's that's the that's the biggest difference I would say just because you know we're we're very we're very tight. You know it's not it's not segregated. It's not you know offense, defense, it's Everybody's in this thing together. This segment was brought to you by Windstar World Casino and Resort, the casino of the Dallas Cowboys. This segment is brought to you by Blockchain.com. Make your crypto play today. Powell rolling left and then right and then sacked by Dorrance Armstrong. The Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy, uh, continues now here inside the Globe Live studio. Bill Jones, as the head coach, rejoins us here. Let's talk about this Packers offense a little bit. And Jordan Love, first-round pick from 2020, getting his first opportunity this year. has been very impressive down the stretch, especially this year. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, you know, the, the run-pass mix that they've been able to create, uh, they got a you know, really good run game uh, with two really good backs. Um, obviously, it starts up front for them. There, but yes, I, I've been very impressed with Jordan's done. You know, particularly their their down the field green grass um, passing game has been extremely productive for them, and you know they've played a lot of new faces there too. Uh, so uh, it's it's a very very talented receiver group. You know, uh, you look at the receiver group for them, and as you mentioned, uh, rookies and second year guys contributing in a big way. I think one of the interesting matchups in this game is your veteran secondary against uh, the young receiving core for them. It's got to give you a lot of confidence when you got the likes of a Stephon Gilmore and yeah. Jordan Lewis and the, and the safeties that have so much experience. In I mean, definitely. I mean, we, we have confidence. It doesn't matter who we play or how old they are. I mean, I you know, rookies, young players, and no one's young now. I mean, that's. You know, it's no different than how we, we talk and, and what we expect from our first-year players. Um, you know, you, have, you had a small period of time in a regular season to be a rookie. So, I mean, it, this is a group that's played a lot of football. They've, they've played a lot in different, you know, segments of the season. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to the competition. A, a great example of that's Deron Bland. I mean, here's a second-year guy and uh, has played like a veteran for over a year now. 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he was a young guy to get opportunity last year, and he was ready to do it, and uh, he's been there ever since. So, you know, you look at his versatility that he gave us as a nickel in the corner, and, you know, it really you know prepared him for this year, and he's taking that big second-year jump for sure. Now, Aaron Jones, who's a fifth-round draft pick a year, is going back about six or seven years ago uh, there with the Packers. What is it about Aaron Jones' running style that impresses you? Oh, uh, he's a slasher. Um, I've always, I've always uh, appreciated and respected his running style. He doesn't waste any steps. He gets in, you know, his courses uh, very disciplined with the courses in his eyes and his ab ability to accelerate the crease and get to the second level. So. Um, he's definitely dangerous with the ball in his hands. How about the progress Damone Clark has made for you? You look back at that Washington game, uh, the play he made on the fourth down play in pass coverage as well, and knowing that he has to step up in a bigger way once Leighton Van Der Esch goes down in the middle of the season. It's been really impressive, I think, what he's done this year. Oh, no question. I mean, Damone's a young player that just needs to, he needs to play. I mean, his preparation, everything he puts into it, uh, extremely professional for a young player. So, yeah, he's only going to get better as time goes on. But, yeah, I think he's definitely stepped up. Now, a veteran player I want to ask you about is Dante Fowler. He had a sack and a half uh, last week. And here's a guy with a lot of experience in the league, now and a lot of playoff experience as well in the league. Uh, he's a guy that you can manage his snaps as the season goes on, and now this is the time of the year he can really, really contribute at, at a key time. I mean, Dante's a stud. Uh, just, I mean, so impactful. I mean, if you look at a player – any player on our football team, uh, as far as his ability to make plays per snaps on the field, I agree with you 100%. So I uh, just love his juice, his energy, and what he brings to the table every day. All right, up next here on the Mike McCarthy Show, it's our unsung star of the week. First and 10, and Howell back to throw. Under pressure, he throws this one up for grabs down the left side. Deron Bland plays center field and catches it in front of the Green Monster at the seven yard line. This segment was brought to you by Blockchain.com. Make your crypto play today. And we got a punt, Brad. With a, a punt for the punt. first time today by either team. Tress Way, blocked. Blocked! Punt is blocked and rolling around to the five yard line. <laughs> Peyton Hendershot blocked the punt. And the Cowboys say, we will see you your blocked field goal and raise you a blocked punt. Final couple of minutes here of the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Time for the unsung star of the week. And I'm going special teams and a tight end on your team, Peyton Hendershot. I think if uh, John Fossil can take that punt, the, uh, the blocked punt, it was textbook the way uh, Hendershot came, came through there and blocked that punt. Yeah, definitely. Actually, it was, a hot, you know, it was part of our you know, teaching tape and in, in the team meeting when we talked about fundamentals. And yes, uh, Peyton was exactly what you're looking for. I mean, you know, pretty much almost took the ball right off the foot of the punter. So obviously a great play. Okay, you use that uh, on a film that you show to the, to the team. What about the hurdle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that, was, that, that was a pretty clean hurdle. I mean, I mean, Linda's got to be teaching that privately because, I mean, <laughs> any time these tight ends get a chance to jump over somebody, they jump over them. So, no, it was, it was impressive. Uh, and how about uh, for a guy like him, he's injured in the middle of the season, comes back, and you can really see from the, even just those two plays that he is back where he was uh, as far as uh, being healthy and so forth and has a chance to really contribute. Yeah, definitely. I mean, coming out of the last season, going through training camp, you know, we have big plans for Peyton. So, you know, I, I think it's it's tough when you see your players go through, the, you know, an injury phase uh, that he went through. But, you know, obviously he's back and he's, you know, and you can see he's comfortable now. So uh, we expect more from him. Okay, it's going to be fun on Sunday afternoon. You ready for that white out? All the white towels oh, are going to be waving yeah, in the stands. Awesome. Yeah, AT&T is going to be awesome. Looking uh, forward to it. All right. Uh, we appreciate it, Coach. Good luck on Sunday. And we thank all of you for joining us here for the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Yeah, it's definitely the fans. You know, they just show so much energy. They mess up people's cadence. They give away. They make sure they give away uh, tendencies and uh, so for help with get-offs and stuff. So, Cowboy Nation, you know, we need y'all at 3.30. Um, it's time. We got to protect the den. The Mike McCarthy Show, presented by Reliant, was brought to you by Blockchain.com. Trusted by millions, trusted by America's team. Ford. Ford is the best in Texas. Bank of America, the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. It's Miller time. And by Reliant official energy provider of the Dallas Cowboys.